What's good? What's good? What's good, Cleo? What's good? <laughs> Keep on traveling. Like, what's happening, man? You got the, the whole Africa reactor is fired up. Yeah. You know what, Cleo? I'm going to tell you something, man. Definitely, uh, I could say the African reactors at this point is definitely take care of, taking care of the business over there. Uh, man, I tell you, <laughs> man, that's the lifestyle Black Beauty TV age quirl. You talking about um, Crook Traveler and Pastor Boxman, they doing an amazing job of pretty much, you know, letting the public know what time it is over there and what to look out for so they won't put the... So the public, whatever moves they make out there, they, uh, they at least they can't say nobody told them so. But, you know, the thing is, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and shift the gears a little bit, um, especially as, as being American, you know what I'm saying, in my country, because we're facing a big controversy out here. And the controversy is called Passport Bros. And I want to speak upon this situation, but don't get it twisted. I might jump, jump back in Africa here and there, but what we want to, I want to talk to you about the Passport Bros. And I want you to introduce yourself, let the people know where you're from. And also, too, I want to let the people know the reason why I picked Clyde, Cleo Bonnet to pretty much, uh, <clears throat> to, you know, to do wow. this interview with me because he 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 will challenge me in certain situations and and it's a great thing for the crowd so we can have both sides of the situation and why things may be the way they are. So go ahead and introduce yourself to the world and let them know what time it is. Yo, guys, this is your boy Cleo Boni, all the way from South Africa, and actually from SEDAC, South Africa, and. Guys, I just heard you talking about, you know, passport bros. For me, that issue has got to do with the women, period. It's got to do with the women because I had experiences and stuff like that. And I've experienced, you know, uh, passport bros all my life. Not one country, but a couple of countries that I've been doing. And um, this is because in my relationships, I don't know how you feel about women, but I strongly believe that women... They still go a long way because it's been centuries and centuries and centuries. And this our passport bros, I think it's been there all the years. You know, it's attractive. I mean, when you get somebody who believes in you, you know, and whether you meet him on, on Facebook or Twitter or you travel to the countries and you move to the countries and meet somebody, I'll give you an example. Okay, I'm going to start from the positive side of my passport bros. You know, here, where I am right now in China, I mean, if you meet a woman, she's there. She gives you everything. You understand what I'm saying? She's like a breathing on your face. She's like there. She will kiss you. You have to push the woman away, you know? And, mm. and, and the woman is going to give you what a man needs, you know? The problem is that, you know, we, um, you know, over the years, we have always fought for women to become leaders, to become powerful, to be educated, you know, we fought this and we're still fighting for this. We want an equal opportunity everywhere. But now it looks like it's gone into their heads, right? Mm. They want to be powerful. They want to be arrogant. They want to play games. You know, I'll give you an example. If you meet a woman, you, you exchange numbers and stuff like that, what's, what goes to your mind? King of travel. What goes to your mind? Like, what is the reason? What is the purpose? Of you well, getting it? Well, what goes exchange? through my mind is that once I exchange numbers with her, we're going to start to have a conversation. Maybe go out to lunch or dinner or something. Get to know each other and build from there. Um, but I'm gonna tell you something. What I notice, especially with American women, um, it's a lot of games they play and. And it's like, it's such a challenge for a man to be able to, to get their attention. But the thing is, I want to look at this on both sides of the fence. Do you think coming from China, do you think that America have spoiled the woman with this independence and caused them to treat the men the way they do? But listen, listen to this, Cleo. I want you to understand something at the same time. 
a lot of women, I could also understand why they want to be independent. And the reason why is because a lot of men at the same time are not bringing forth a solid foundation for the woman. Now, think about this. You ever heard of something called the Project Section 8? They got something in America called the Project of Section 8. And I always question, why is the projects built for the women? Maybe it's built for the women because they already know that a lot of men will fail the woman, so they have an alternative place for the woman to go. So this is the question. For my country, for an example, America, and maybe other countries have done the same thing. But for them to give the woman the independence, is it a great thing for the woman to have some type of independence so that they could, what they say, level off the playing field now? And when I say level off the playing field so that so many women don't have to go into the projects, because a lot of women end up in the projects because the influence of they feel they have the man to bring forth the solid foundation and if the man fail with the foundation, they have an ultimate, another alternative route to go to. So I want you to tell me what's your opinion of the independence and the power that the women have in America and how you feel about that. The interpretation of uh, independence it is, is it's actually broad. And it's broad, okay? You cannot, like, sexually, uh, as a woman... I don't think they, they should be independent and play games about it because there's actually one only thing that a man is attracted to a woman. The first thing, first impression first. And there is, it has absolutely nothing to be independent. It has to be something, when it comes to relationships or at the beginning at least, it's about understanding each other and have a mutual and have a compromise. Now, women these days, I can tell you this, they are not static. They are not static. So their independence is like, you get a, the independence that I think a woman should be all about is about, you know, like you get your own money, you decide what you're going to do with your money, you know, you get education, you know, so you can make a decision over your key decisions in life and you can be able to participate in the economy in the world as a global, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, because we are when we say independent, we're not saying that completely uh, we we taking away the elements of patriarch society. We we want to like okay, if you take a patriarch society and you make women independent, so it, does it make sense? It doesn't make sense. We are still patriarch. But, they, see, but, but see, I understand what you're saying, but I have to look at this situation for the movement of the passport bros on two different aspects of this situation. So a lot of women in America, for an example, is upset because there a lot of men are going across the water, going to different countries. And one there of them more submissive, humble women that are willing to be submissive toward them, but downgrading the American woman for the way they carry themselves. Me personally, I can't downgrade the American woman for the way they carry themselves. Because as a man coming from America, seeing what a lot of these men have done to these American women, I could definitely understand why American women feel the way they feel. But I also would say to any American woman, understand that, be grateful that America gave you enough power, gave you enough independence and ways to make money so you could be independent, so you could handle your business just in case if you get an American man that can't bring enough to the table to satisfy you. But at the same time, be easy when it comes to a man that's want to be a passport bro because he feel that he could find a woman overseas that he, he is more compatible with. So you get what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. clearly. King of travel, did, would you like to be intimidated by a woman in some way? Or have you ever been intimidated by a woman? Have you so ever been 
Have you ever come across a woman that's arrogant? Because it looks like you have never lived these experiences of, uh, you never came across a woman oh, no. that's arrogant. You never came across a, uh, uh, across a woman that's intim that trying to intimate, intim at least intimidating you. You know, you never came across no, a woman. No. I can't not say that. Cleo, I have came across many arrogant women. But the thing about the arrogance, I can't really tear them down to the fullest because what is making them arrogance? Let me give you an example. Imagine a person don't have money today. Now they got money tomorrow. The money made them get arrogant because now they got the power of money. So when it comes to the women, since they got the power of independence, they become arrogant. So I question the reality of what we face every day. Is it just because of the woman or is it because of they have more in their possession to be more independent that's bringing the arrogance? I, I I don't think you know. Uh, I don't think you understand a woman that is uh, has a mixed feelings and changing moods and changing their attitudes. You know, every minute, every second, right? You meet a woman today and you want to be with her. The next minute, you try to text her ass. You, I mean, you try to text her and she she's not responding. And, and like you, you guys have thought about something is gonna go on here and she changes her mind. Or you are in love with her and next minute she's like coming up with the rules. She told you this, and now she's telling you another thing. Women's feelings changes all the time, and I think it has got nothing to do with independence or with America giving powers. I think a woman has always been in power, you know, has always been in power, controls the whatever. Every, you know, a, listen here. For a black man in America, we always say behind every successful man, there is a woman. Mm -hmm. So where are the black successful? We don't have many black successful men. So it means now we start questioning. Where are the the the, the women in all this? And that's why I mean it goes like I have failed. Listen, man. Like uh, listen, King of Travel. I respect you, but if a woman knows very well she's like over thirty or thirty five, she's over 28, 29, She still says she's young. All the time you ever heard you've mentioned about some women in africa who claims to be young all the time and people should hear that oh i'm young i'm i'm younger the whole time and you're not getting married you know? mm -hmm. so then when you are I, I have come across this you know a woman hits like a 36 or 32 and 28 or 40. now she starts deciding oh you know what now i want to get married i want to start getting serious why when you're bloody old and you're you're just a leftover and you expect someone to pick up all that daddy that you've been playing with the other men. Now, yeah. let me say this to you. I definitely respect that. Um, a problem with a lot of women, they have been ran through by every Tom, Dick, Harry, Joe, Paul, Joe, and the whole block. Now they done got older. A lot of men don't want them like they used to. Now they're ready to settle down. I don't agree with women like that because now I feel, why are you ready to settle now? You, you, you wasn't ready to settle before. You wanted to play games and hang in the streets a lot. Now you done seen that a lot of men that you thought was, a, that you thought was worth your time wasn't worth your time. But listen to what I'm about to tell you about that. It's so much confusion with the mindsets of people and what they have when it comes to their personality on the way they transition themselves through life from becoming <clears throat> at an age of 18 to 26 to 36 to 46, it's almost like you just don't know what you're getting. It's so much personalities when a person starts getting to a point in their life where they're starting to now face life. And the reason why I say starting at 18, because that's the age in America where people start to say, okay, the female going to college and <clears throat> she doing this and she start to grow in the process of getting from under mama and daddy. But yeah. what you have to understand, the reason why I'm bringing all this up is we deal with all these realities that we face coming up in life. So now here comes the movement of the passport bros. 
And it's such a big movement and a lot of drama behind the passport rules because a lot of women don't understand why men rather go overseas to see what they're able to, you know, get overseas that'll make them more satisfied. Um, truth be told, and the reason why me, myself, personally, I could speak about this because I'm actually a world traveler. This yeah. is what I do. When you see me speak on my platforms like this, on my platform, I only speak in, but in the reality, I travel from country to country to country. And what I can definitely say, Cleo, is this. I have been in China, Hong Kong. I have been in the Philippines. I have been in the Vietnam. I have been in Thailand. I have been in a lot of Caribbean countries from Brazil, the Colombia, Dominican, Costa Rica, have been in Amsterdam and Europe, been in all over the world. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. Uh, well, since you travel, you know, travel, um, but to me, it seems like you still don't have a better view of women. Because no, 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 that's you, not true. I have a, a, a superb view of women. I have a uh, superb view. No, sorry, King of Drama. You having affirmative action, trying to protect, you know, to protect women, uh, and, and you're not protecting them. Actually, you are destroying them. These people, uh, these ladies, right, from America and from other parts of the world except to Asia, because right now it's a market show. You get an obvious. Everybody wants Asian lady, you know, and if you have an opportunity to come to Asia, you can go to Philippines, you can go to India, you can go anywhere, anywhere, Malaysia, you can get a lady in the South Korea, anywhere, Japan. And you know what? It's a bloody easy because all these people, East Europe and Asia, it's on the market right now. So you can't, this is a thing, exactly what I'm trying to say. They are looking for men. And they're looking for men who can take out their manhood and celebrate their manhood. You know, they can kiss, they can give love, they can be there. Mm -hmm. They can be, be touched. Now, that's not the same. If you, these people, these women from other parts of the world, like America, they've forgotten that the economy changes all the time. The society, uh, tapestry of the society, the social tapestry changes all the time. Mm -hmm. So they are waiting. And the problem is that the hormones of women makes them change their moods and change their plans and change. They'll say one thing and they do another next day or next minute, you know. But now I can tell you whether you like it or not, East Europe, like Russia, Belarus, you know, Ukraine, there's so many of them in East Europe and there's so many in the Asian that just looking for a man who can actually, you know, celebrate his, 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 his body. And this is so, so important in life. You know, and you're not going to get these things. I mean, what do you get? You get explanations from these guys, from America, American women. You get explanations all the time, talking, rhetoric, dreaming, and stuff like that. But the truth of the matter is that shit doesn't put anything on the table. So I don't think you, king of the travel, you have a better view, even though you have traveled broadly. Okay, so listen, this is why I'm telling you about me traveling broadly so you can get a better understanding. So I go into a lot of countries that, um, you know, the third world. They don't, they're not used to what we have in America. Um, the finances, the money isn't the same. So their mind are more humble to me. This is what I feel. Like, for an example, I was in Brazil. And a brother told me, the Brazilian woman is fine, but don't bring them in America. Once you bring them into America, it's over. They will become Americanized, and they would have the same vibe that a lot of American women have. Unless you keep that woman in the house and keep her with the Brazilian qualities of taking care of pretty much the man being the man in the house and making sure his woman is taken care of properly. Um, <laughs> the question is, number one, are you a man that you feel that you're foundation is solid enough to bring a Brazilian woman into your country or Costa Rican, Dominican, um, Colombian, Asian, is your foundation solid enough for you to be that man that if you bring this woman overseas back into America, 
will you be able to take care of her? If you want a submissive woman, if you want a humble woman, and you want a woman that's going to listen to pretty much your command, do you hey. feel your foundation is solid? King of Travel, like, I mean, really, really, I mean, that, that is like, you know, I, I heard about that and I, I've seen people talking about all that, that if you bring, I mean, it happens all the time. If you take somebody from even another place like Texas or somewhere there or Missouri, you take somebody from Missouri, you take him, you take her to LA, what's going to happen? I mean, even within America, you know, it can happen that you take somebody and then somebody changes. You take somebody somewhere there and you put somebody in the Hollywood, the person changes. I mean, who, now, the question is, who cares and who came with this? That's a theory. But the, the European, the East European and the Asian market of men, especially black uh, passport bros, it's so huge, it's so fashionable right now. They're just looking for somebody cool, you know? I mean, I'm not cool to my lady that's like an American, that's, I'm not cool to her, but if I, I'm in Asia or East Europe, I'm the coolest. Like, people just see the coolness of me and it gives me the pride, it gives me happiness. Nobody cares what's gonna happen in future. Right now, the lady's ready to get married. Even though she wanna get a green card and travel back to America with you, return to America with you. I mean, who cares? She's with you. And if you know, she knows how to keep a man in love forever. I mean, that's a condition. She's thinking she's going to get a green card, but who cares if she gets a green card? You know, if she, you know, if she gets there in America, let's say she gets there in America, it's up to you to know who you picked up. It's just like a passport bros. Those passport bros that lives in America and goes to other countries like in Asia or East Europe uh, or South America, those people... They, we have a two passport bros here, I guess. Others probably, they're just tired of their life. They just want to party in those South American countries, Asian and East mm -hmm. European countries. Yes, we have sure. got two passports. This has not been mentioned. You know what, I Cleo? Mean, you know what, Cleo, I'm glad you said that. Uh, because that's the reality, I think, when it comes to a lot of passport bros. Do I consider myself as a passport bro? I could consider myself as one because that's me. I have already seen what America have to offer me. Um, me personally, knowing myself, I don't have the patience to be that man in America <clears throat> that a lot of women are asking for. So me, personally, I'd rather go overseas and enjoy myself. If I meet a beautiful woman, I enjoy myself with her. And that's just how I feel. I'm, but I'm not going to condemn the American women for the qualities that they bring to the table. Because I also know coming from America and travel in so many countries in the world, even the beautiful Africa, that... Um, American women are, normal, are not normal anymore, bro. They are not normal. And they're going to turn men into pedophiles. They're going to turn men into... Uh, 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 it, it causes... Uh, yeah, they're going to turn men into gays. They're going to turn men into incest, you know. They're going to mm. turn men into everything. They're going to turn men to be incest, to be uh, to be pedophiles. They're going to turn men to be gays. So why do you feel? Why you feel like I'm that? Not, I'm not gays about gays, but that's people become, people are gays because they're gays. And other people are not gays. They become gays because their women is playing games. has been playing games and depressing. And this man becomes bipolar. They don't understand themselves. The clever ones, they bounce. They get the passport, they leave. And I'm telling every American man out there, be aware, leave America, go to South America, go to Asia, go to East Europe. That's your therapy. That's Ooh. your therapy. Leave American women up until they make their concrete decision. If they're not ready, if they're ready, we will know. And we will tell them that they're ready. They're not ready, I can tell you. They're old. They're not getting married. They're worse. They're depressing American men, and they are cutting the cables of masculinity off. Mm. So we we'll let them to cut off the cables of masculinity and turn men into incest and pedophiles and gay gays when they're not even born gays, you know, overnight, or secret gays and some shit like that. So we're not going to 
let that happen. If you're a man right now, if you're listening to this and watching, get your passport, get your life together, get yourself together. Get your passport, no. run on your feet. Well, run let on your feet, say, let me say this, Cleo. Run on your feet, my passport, bro. I could definitely respect and I see your aggressiveness on how you feel. And you definitely basically saying so many words like, <clears throat> if it's become too much pressure for you, and that you can't find the right woman that you want in your own country that's going to be submissive and be humble to you. Don't get your emotions so involved. Get your passport and go see what it's like in a whole nother country. That's what you're trying to say? Now, you know, I'm not trying to say that there's anything. The, the bottom line is most women are leftovers, especially the old ones. They know mm. that they're, they're trying to play to say that the modern, the modern makeup, makeup, cosmetics and stuff. That's not modern. That that's not what you call modern. But write it down the stuff that you need. You have resolutions and stuff of your life. You know, per year, each year, every day. You wake up and then you're like doing exercise, whatever. You go in the gym. You go to the gym and you you eat nice diet, whatever stuff like that, and have education. And you're working. You got a car for, through the bank, and you call that modern. It's not modern. It's not a modern a woman. It doesn't make you modern a woman. If you, even if you're making a lot of money, money is money is what you think you call it. Like you call it independence, woman independence, and you think like, oh, men are scared of you. Okay, mine. We don't have time for this, and nobody cares about you from today and now. If anybody's listening to this, if you're touched about this story here, get your passport. Don't talk about them. Don't think about them. Get a therapy in East Europe. Get therapy in Asia. Get a therapy in, in in South America. Get out of there because you are going to be bipolar. You're going to tend to something that you're not. You're going to become a pedophile. You're going to basically end up doing something that is not right. Get out of there because spiritually they've destroyed you. Mm. So Richard, I want to say this, man. You know, men down, men down. It's a diff we cannot go anywhere. We, I cannot partic participate in the economy of the global because now I'm thinking too much. I can't sleep. This woman is talking walla 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 the whole time. The next mm. minute he meets another man and he says, "Oh, me, I'm clean. I'm more than a woman." You know, then he, she becomes new again. She depresses that man. Yo, man, if he. American women can change, especially the, the passport bros. Women, if they can change, I'm telling you, every American is going back to America and we are going to build, people going to build America, especially the black community, the Spanish community, Italian community, everybody, or the Asian community, they're going to build America. Right now, America is going down because women helped themselves to it. Mm. They are worse. Get out of there. Passport, bro, whatever you are, come with the right reasons, you know, to these countries, come with the right reasons and get married and forget about it and participate in the economy, uh, open a shop or do whatever you, you're good at, be a, a teacher, make money, save enough money and no problems, problems free. It's safe here. You know it's what, Cleo, I'm, I'm going to tell you something and I, and I love that message that you bring to the passport, bros. Um, Basically, and, and that's what I was saying the whole time, like, you know, the bottom line, when it's all said and done, we're having a hard time in America communicating with a lot of American women because they have been conditioned with this independence. But at the same time, I, I must give them respect for the independence because now they have at least an outlet so they could keep themselves on a solid foundation in case of a man leave them. But the issue I'm also having is don't knock a passport, bro. Because women have their power of making money, being independent. And a passport, bro, have their power to get their passport to go to another country because they're not able to deal with a lot of independent women because when it when it, it comes to independent women, it comes to a challenge because they're not really going to, they're not going to be submissive because they feel like you got to bring, I'm independent. I don't need you. So don't knock a passport, bro, for going across other countries to get them a woman that's going to be more submissive. 
the way the average man like it. I don't think a lot of men want a woman telling them what they're doing, how high they're jumping, where to go. That just, unless they're sick, you know what I'm saying? I'll, but that's I'll, I'll make it very clear that it's it's no matter how much in a in a king of travel, I respect you with all due respect. You can justify whichever way, but I'm telling you, it's not gonna change because it's been there for centuries and centuries. I'll tell you something. Jesus Christ was not recognized at home. He had to get up. Mm. So that's deep. We're talking about how many centuries, bro? Mm. People so have traveled. The people were in prison, bro. In in where they were in prison in Britain. And they were in jail, and they when they went out, they went to Australia. All of them shipped to Australia. Look at how powerful Australia is by prisoners. Mm. Possible, bro. So you can't tell that it's something new. Some of us who got we are binational. We were born. Our parents are from different countries. We are all mixed up in some way, some way or another. So our passport bros is in our blood, you know, even those ones that some people have got ancestors that are from different parts. Let's talk about America itself. What are they talking about passport bros? Africans actually were, okay, they were Africans actually already in America, but I'm talking about those ones that are in history that of, of coming from slaves. They were brought from different part of the world. So passport bros is genetic. You can you can you can justify, but you cannot justify justify genetics. DNA, it's in their DNA. They're gonna move on. If you're not good enough, a man is trying to be good enough. Is trying to build an institution, a marriage institution, a relationship institution, and you're making Keep it a talking. situation. Keep talking, Clark. Keep you know? talking. Women are making it like a situation ship. You know, this is the institution that men wanna build, and it's in the genetics. No matter what. It's in their genes, especially if we talk about people that travel to America, it's in their blood that they travel. They traveled for opportunity. They travel for the economic, economic reasons. They traveled for spiritual reasons. They traveled by, uh, through their social reasons. You know, all these things, it's in their blood. And if we're talking about America, you know, those people are not there. If it was happening to the red, uh, red Indians in America, that they were doing that, okay, we were gonna we were gonna talk about that, you know. Mm -hmm. But if we were gonna talk about the rest of America, whether you know, uh face to those Europeans that used to travel to Africa, you know, used to travel to Asia, of course, some of them are bad, bad fruits, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. uh some of them they became pedophiles, they get you know, young ladies or small girls and sleep with them. Those, those ones are sick. Those ones I don't think they're passport bros, those are renegades, you know. Uh, not the rain gets. Those are, you know, I don't know. They're sick. They're sch schizophrenic. You know, I'm talking about normal passport bros. And this is a generation, a generation well, of bros. Well, I'm going to tell you, I, I call yeah. myself a normal yeah, I mean, passport bro. When, I, when, I, go, when yeah. I go across the countries, you know, I do my content. That's what I do. That's my main thing. But exactly. I'm, a single, I'm a single man. If I could meet a beautiful woman across the country, why not? I mean, me, myself, that's in human need, in human nature for us to, you know what I'm saying, to, to connect. I mean, my thing is... Um, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, say it again, say it again, sorry. It's in human nature for us to connect. I mean, that's just that just life. That's the way the world turns. And if I feel, if I'm going across the country and I yeah. could meet a beautiful woman, why not? Me personally... Wait, you should do, if you're a real man, do what works for you. Definitely. That, and that's, and that's the way like, I look at it. And for anybody to knock us men for doing that, I, I want to try. The king of travel, if American woman is putting all these things like, they don't, you know, carefree, they don't care about whatever possible bros, but I'll tell you what, say whatever you have to think, you are just the residue left over. Nobody cares about you. You're modern life more than woman with your standards with your requirements and stuff like that nobody nobody cares about that because even your underwear as a woman your underwear you're wearing is from china made in china your underwear is made from china mm. that's already that's a, you know like what are you talking about everything you're wearing everything made in china mm. so what do you 
So why can't I just go straight to China then? It's a global village right now. Do you understand this? You you cannot say and sound like as if it's an ethnic. Only black women are supposed to, or white, you know, American women are supposed to benefit from this. What kind of monopoly is this? Monopoly and you abuse, you know, you abuse that prestige that you claim to have. You know, mm. right now I'm telling you, maybe a couple of percentage. I don't have the exact percentage, but I'm hundred percent sure that if you an American and you know that your relationship is okay, everything is okay for now, keep mm -hmm. it, make it work because it takes one to tangle, not two to tangle. One person should make it work. But if two of you guys are fighting over all the time, hey man, you're gonna grow gray but, hair. But, but, hold on. Why you say you? Why you say one? Now it takes two to make it work because if only one communicating, the next one not. How are you supposed to make that work? That's the problem we have in America. It's almost like it's it's like one person don't want to listen to the next. Yeah. And yeah. Other, other countries, from what I know, uh, and I don't know if the women are just pretending in the moment because I haven't been in a steady enough relationship long enough to know if it's going to be consistent. But for basically, let's say for an example, I met this woman. And it's just an example. She was a house cleaner at the hotel. And from what I see for the time that I dated her, that her whole thing was I cook. I clean and I take care of the house because that was she was conditioned to. She she was never conditioned to being out there working at a plant, making a certain amount of money. You see what I'm saying? So it's like that's what her whole state of mind was already conditioned to cleaning the house. So let's just say if I brought her into America, she would be the woman that clean the house, make sure the the you know what I'm saying everything is taken care of. We have kids, the kids taking care of. You see what I'm saying? But this is the whole thing. Is that what everybody's mindset is when they meet a woman? Is that what they want? See, we can't be confused about who we are at the same time. Me personally, the reason why I don't want to connect with a woman like that in America or overseas, because that's not my style. Because I also know as a man that I have to have patience. Woman nature and a woman have to have patience when it comes to the man. Me personally, what I found out about myself in life after being in a long-term relationship, I can say I'm not relationship material. Is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. It's not that I'm, I'm not relationship material because because of the way of the American woman and what they showed me, it's by me looking at myself too and seeing that a lot of women not as bad as we make it out to be. But the problem is sometimes we have to look within ourselves and say, man, we just don't have the patience for these kind of situations. So that's why when I even go out the country, if I deal with a woman, I'm not going to tell her one thing and I'm going to do another. I'm going to be true to who I am as a man and rather you want to deal with me or you don't want to deal with me because the problem comes in when people are confused on who they are as a person on the woman side and the man side. And I'm just only saying this because passport bros, everybody have a different agenda. Some might just want to go across the seas and meet a female they just have a good time with and they have an understanding. Some might want to get a wife and bring them back to America. Some might just want to enjoy themselves on the beach and they just love the atmosphere because they're tired of being in America and they're bored with the people they used to be around. They're bored with the kind of relationships. Some passport boys, bros might, like say for an example, go to South America because they want to see what it's like to be with an exotic woman, a Brazilian, Colombian, Costa Rican, Dominican. There's so many different ways to look at why a person want to go across the water to become a passport bros, a passport bro. And I don't think that nobody should judge us because why? There's so many different reasons why we do what we do. The, uh, the King of Travel, you, 
it's it, I think right now in America, American woman is like, uh, you know, having a woman that's like going to the gym and has got muscles and all that. You can't deal with that. They got muscles all over their body, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm telling you, even if you are like, you've got so much libido, you're fired up for libido and stuff like that and to release your, you know, your little tadpoles and stuff. You wouldn't even think about it because, I mean, looking at a woman looking like that, you know, like looking like an Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> or Sylvester Stallone. We don't want that. Uh, we don't want that. That's what women, American women look like right now. All the American women right now look like in, in psychologically, socially, uh, economically, and the arrogance, everything else. They're actually the next, the Arnold Schwarzenegger, the world champion in weightlifting. And because they got all the masculinity, they have stolen every masculinity that men used to have mm. back in the day. Mm. So I don't think these guys are thieves. They're stolen masculinity from a man. They are thieves. So if you, you are a man, you got money, you got the means to get out of there and you want to reclaim your masculinity back, your manhood back. And you want to get back to a point where you could make love three, four times a day. You want to get back to that? You know, you want to get yourself to the time that you wake up in the morning, putting a suit, put a suit on, clean shave, everything else looking good and all that, you know, and you got money and you, you're good in bed with the same woman for the whole year. You can okay. have as many things and stuff like that. Then get out of there because they've stolen the Arnold Schwarzenegger. All the women in that country, the Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone right now, they've stolen all masculinity, all masculine, you know, from a man. So if you got money, get out of there, you know? Get out of there. Don't listen to women twice. If you, you're beaten twice, I mean, you're beaten once. If you're beaten once, you should be twice shy. Twice shy. Beaten once, twice shy. Beaten once, twice shy. I'm repeating that shit. Mm. No, I get what you're saying. You feel like if they're more masculine than a man, what's the purpose? You know, what's the purpose of a man dealing with a woman with that type of vibe? You know, I'll tell you one thing, Cleo, it's definitely, um, <clears throat> it's a lot to deal with. And then it's deeper than that, in that too. It's a lot of people, not just, you know, I, I get the vibe of what you're saying with the Arnold Schwarzenegger and the masculine part of things. Um, but I also want to talk about and touch on this too. Uh, you know, a lot of times, as time go on in life, <clears throat> our bodies start to change and, um, you know, we start to gain more weight and we're just not who we used to be. And that becomes a big issue, too, because now people are losing attraction for their mates. Not to say, I mean... When a person walk away, they should. I'm not trying to justify that, but it takes, it almost seems like it's even a battle in America to keep our companion to want to keep themselves looking good because unless they don't have the option to keep themselves looking good. In a lot of cases, they do have the option because they got plenty of gyms out here and a lot of them don't even care to go. They have excuse after excuse after excuse. Now, let me show you for an example. The first time I went to Dominican Republic, right? Uh, yeah. I saw they had like Santo Domingo was a big old open up by the ocean. Everybody was exercising. Everybody was getting fit. It was amazing to me because I never saw a movement that big where so many people want to get fit and keep themselves in shape. Brazil the same way. It's like they just exercising is just like eating over there. Just as yeah. well as you want to eat, it's like their minds and tools that in tune to exercising. Yeah. So that's another reason why a lot of guys are going across the seas too as passport bros to meet these women that want to keep themselves up and keep themselves looking good. Not saying yeah. every American don't keep themselves looking good, but a lot of Americans don't care. A lot of American females, and we're dealing with a situation 
And this is why it was good for me to travel to other countries. We're dealing with some type of hormones in these American food. I don't know what it is, but it makes you gain weight real fast. In other countries, it's not the same. A lot of countries I have been to, like Africa, I went to Africa, I lost all my weight. I was getting kind of big. Went to Africa, eating natural food, I lost all my weight. So we're dealing with that too. And that's why a lot of guys would rather go across because they're losing the attraction for a mm -hmm. lot of the American women too. What you feel about that? You know, um, women across the globe, except Asian, you know, because Asians, you know, I, I'll just, I'll just try to try to give you something here. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, I've, I've heard, I've heard you, I know from the beginning talking about um, these, these people's, uh, the women's, the, the women, you know, whatever they have, but I can tell you this, that I think, uh, you know, like you said, you know, uh, waking out, looking good, cosmetics and stuff on their faces and their on their body. Their inside is rotten, rotten completely, because if you can't change your you can't change your attitude, you can look good, but you, you, you the reflection of inside you is going to come up. There's going to be a reflection of inside you. So mm. even if even if they're trying to, you know, look good or sort of a thing and stuff like that. And one thing, bear in mind that women wants to pretend, American women wants to pretend as if men are not good enough, we're not working, they don't have money, now they've got money and stuff like that, you know. That's not the point here because, I mean, every, a woman should love you for something. Why do they change? The question is, I would like to ask you, uh, King of Travel, you have asked me, but I have just given you a little bit of that. I would like to ask you this question here. Why do women change? Why do they change after they fall in love or before they fall in love or through texting? Why women change after marriage? Why do women change quick when they got what they want? Now they play around mm -hmm. with it. They don't care about it and they're arrogant <laughs> to it. Why? Well, because they always think no, no, I think this is women I, are rotating, that's all. Depressed. I definitely, I definitely respect that question. Yeah. And it's what a mystery it? that I can't solve. But I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm glad you said that, because many women have changed after marriage. Hold up. No, 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 no. I have spoke to a few women about that. And I, and I asked them, why do y'all change like that? Because they say that the man is boring. He changed his ways. We don't go out like we used to. And so me personally, this is what I'm talking about. I don't have the patience for it. The what the expectations of the American woman, and I'm not just saying American because it might be overseas too. I don't know. Not like they, I said, yeah. the, the requirements are too high for a person like me to stay up to the pace with them. To, <clears throat> to keep them <clears throat> from not being bored from being the man that they dreamed of, from being this prince to satisfy this princess. I really don't have the patience to go through all that financially to keep her mind turning. So that's why I feel they change from what I have heard from women. So me personally, Cleo, I'd rather stay away from that because honestly, being real with myself, and being real with the woman, I'm not going to pretend that I'm going to bring all that to the table on a consistent basis to keep them satisfied, to keep them in line, to keep them not going to go up there and see somebody else. i rather, I don't want to deal with it. My name Paul, and that between y'all. Yeah, you're right. You can be, you, 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 you can't, I, I swear before G-O-D, you, in America, you cannot be a perfect guy. Even if you try to be a perfect guy, you are an idiot to them. You know, you can be a, try to listen to a woman because that's what they want. That's what they talk about. That's what, that's what they say. They want to get a guy who's perfect and a guy who listens to them. But once you keep them on the silver platter, mm. give them give them on that silver platter. Here, here I am. I'm the perfect guy. You know, I understand you guys and I listen to you guys. You know what they do? They raise 
the middle finger mm. on your face. I swear so to God, it's Basically, happening all the time. The more you all do, the more you do, the worse it get. The, you damn if you do, and you damn if you don't. Yeah, if you beat up a woman, she'll stick around, and we don't have enough and not for it. We don't have time to be beating up a woman, to be arrogant to a woman. Because when I play the game, I don't want to, this woman. I show no interest. She loves me. What the hell? Oh, cat and mouse game. Basically, you got to consistently yeah. chase her. Yeah. Her. See, she and loves you. She and loves you because you love her. I'm if glad you, you her, said that, Cleo, because... You. That, that is the truth, and, and they deal with it in America all the time. And this is what I'm saying to you. Mental conditions, personality disorders that we deal with. Exactly. Me personally, exactly. the reason why I could say I'm a passport bro in every positive aspect of anybody in the world listening to this, Cleo have summarized a lot of things on what we face. Um, all the chasing, it's too much chasing. It's this too much is, expectation. You can't play hard to get it. Why would you play hard to get it for for the for three hundred sixty five days? You know, mm. like your heart has to keep beating and beating and beating and, and and you know, like when you met her before you met her, when you hated her, when you didn't like her, you didn't love her. She her heart was beating faster. She had the butterflies in the stomach. Now all those butterflies, where are they? Mm. Where's that? With that beating of the of the heart, that she says, "I will die for you," you know, "I will die for you." I will, I will basically kill myself if you leave me. You leave them, they don't kill themselves. Why? They move with the yeah. next man the next day, like they yeah. doing that they they're doing nothing. They're gonna kill themselves if 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 you leave them. But if you try to leave them, they no, they don't kill themselves. You know, so I don't understand that this crush you had it, this crush she had a crush on you. For many, many years. Now she got you, man. She got you at a soft spot. Mm. You know, all the hard butterflies are, have disappeared. No longer in the stomach. They're elsewhere now. Every day she's looking at the corner. She's looking at the guys. She keeps the numbers. She keeps, she hides her phone. She doesn't want you to see the text. There's always a text. She's always talking to somebody all the time. You know, she's at work. She's faking some trips. The workshops that she has got workshops, you know, somewhere she's going somewhere. She just increases all that with the speed of staying away from you. The moment you try to say, okay, fine, keep doing what you're doing. I understand that you're a busy lady, whatever. And she goes like, why are you not giving me attention? They keep playing with your heart and your heart is soft, man. I'm telling you, if you're an American man and you know, your heart is soft. If you're any man around the world, if you know every, you, you can be a man, but your heart is the same as in other hearts. It's soft. It'll be soft. But when somebody breaks it and breaks it and breaks it, I said before, God, you're going to have a brain damage. Mm. You know, you're going to be addicted to some stuff that you shouldn't be doing. You're going to start drinking lots of beer. And because now you, you you want to take all that depression away and you can't take all that. It's not a secret. You, you know what, Cleo? I'm going to tell you one thing. You are very wise and very smart. And I tell a lot of people this too. You said it best. A lot of people don't just drink beer. It's a cause and effect to anything you do in life. A lot of people have not become drunkies and drug addicts just because for fun. It's taking on that stress in life to numb the pain of what they go through in life. And a lot of people don't realize that. I got a partner of mine right now, so he need a, a six-pack of bed every day just to go home to sleep at night to go back to work the next day. That has to be the most stressful life yeah. that you could ever imagine. That's the reason why I could consider myself as a passport bro. Because I, now I feel I have add extra more lifespan on my life because every all man, the scratch every I man have is listening seated. right now. Don't huh? touch the next beer. Don't touch the next beer. Don't 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 snort any. Don't do anything that you, that you know you, you don't want to get addicted to. Don't touch it right now. If you're watching this, don't touch it. Just get your passport. Get your life together. You can get a job. You can work somewhere, bro. 
You can meet even the women that got money. All those men, all those women that are saying in America or elsewhere to say that we are actually giving these uh, uh, South Americans, the East European uh, women and, and, and Asian women, we're giving them money or what, what? No, they are rich people also. Rich people with their houses, with everything, you know. They just let you be with them. You know, they just let you be with them. They show you the world. They show you everywhere. They show you museums. They show you museums. But these guys, they show you depression. They don't show you museums. They don't show you zoo. They don't show you the parks. They don't show you amusement parks. They don't show you the mountains. They don't show you the sea. They don't show you everything. They don't show you any library. They only show you your hell. So you are in hell as a man in America, you are actually in hell across the world. You are in hell. You didn't sign a contract, okay, to stay in America and get married to the person and be with the person. You didn't sign a contract for that. You sign if you sign that contract, I'm saying to you, you basically you got a death wish. Mm. You got a death wish and depression and mental conditions and mental disorder that you're going to have. All those mix, you know, these women, I can tell you, women are confused. Mm. They are living in a different world. That's what mm. I can tell you. They are living in a different world. When they're mm -hmm. in love, they don't even understand. They are, they seriously, the other person loves them so much. You know, they see him as a weakness instead. If you give them so much love, they won't relate to it. They will never relate to your love. So these people are not your relatives. Okay. Uh, you know, just book a ticket right now. If you got a passport already or tomorrow you don't have a passport, go on and make a passport. You are free in this world and you're going to be, you're going to see the world. The next woman is going to show you places that you have never been, new places, and you're going to receive a therapy. You're going to forget about all that depression and forget about America. Or if you're going to go back to America, you can go back. But I'm telling you, the stakes are too high. Right now, the Asian, South American, East European women are on the market right now. So you're going to get a good one. As long as you're not going to get a young age, as long as you, you are happy with the older person or same person of the same age as you, you're going to get something. You're going to get somewhere. If they love you, they love you. You know. So if they love you, they love you. That moment, if you're going to spend one year, that's good enough than spending 10 years or five years with the person that is going to make you become mentally ill and you're going to be sent to a psychiatric hospital for people looking at you as if you're uh, it, people don't, don't even speak about black you know all these people in america they don't even speak about their illnesses i'm telling you straight up <clears throat> we men are sick i swear they hide they don't tell they don't speak about it they are hiding what women have done to them because if they speak about it gonna, it's gonna be like oh king of travel i didn't even know you're going through this shit. you know so everybody right now has been imprisoned and everybody is psychologically schizophrenically disturbed it's changing even the shape of the head the shape of the way you walk the way you talk the way you conduct yourself changes your dreams you can't pursue anything anymore now it's in the world under the world all you see is just a spider web, same spider webs. So get out of there. The woman in America is, or elsewhere is, is confused. The woman is confused. So it's going to be confused because her hormones are controlling her. Mm. You know? So those Hold hormones up. are genetically confused. So I want to say this. I want to say this to you, Cleo, and we about to end this session on the passport bro talk and i appreciate you for your insight um clear this was a great interview and i'm gonna tell you something i definitely i want to say to all the fellas out there in the world what clear was basically saying is that uh going across seas with your passport could be a good therapy for you at the same time because a lot of women are controlled by their hormones, you know, their hormones mixed with yeah. the independence in America. Uh, you know, don't take anything that they feel about you being a passport bro personal. Look at what's better and healthy for you. Me personally, as a brother, 
that have traveled from country to country, I can say it was the best thing I have ever done in my life. Because guess what? Me personally, I'm not a drinker. I'm not a smoker. I'm none of that. I have peace within myself because I have not let anything that took place in America to get the best of me when it's dealing with relationships and the problem we deal, not just relationship, but friendships and all that. So me personally, coming from a person like me, I think I could bring it to you on both aspects of giving you knowledge because of traveling to different places in the world, seeing different things, meeting different women in different countries, and seeing what we're facing in America compared to women globally. Cleo Bonnie, I want you to end this interview, and we out of here. Yeah, so uh, King of Travel, you know, I would say, like, that's the way it is. Uh, and uh, women are angry. So much, you got so much anger right now. And like you said already, you know, like um, mouthful, you know, um, maybe it's the food, but also you just say the last point here, don't talk about independence, whatever, because independence without values, it's a schizophrenic. These women are mad. They're angry. They're upset. They're depressed. They're confused. Their world has ended when it comes to relationship for them. They need to rehabilitate it. So, but meantime, get your, as a man, get your life back. Get your life together. Get your masculinity back. They stole it from you. These women, the Arnold Schwarzenegger, they're angry. They're going to get you, sucker. You better run. Get <clears> your money. If you know where you, where you can get. If you know you can travel, you're going to get. There's somebody for you out there. That's why everybody says so. Even for them, for women. There's somebody for them out there. Those angry women in America, there's somebody for them, but unfortunately, not you. There's somebody respect. for everybody. Don't waste your time. Respect. Respect. Peace. Peace. It's the King of Trouble Talk Show.